The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has called off plans for a snap election there. He's agreed a deal with the centrist Kadima party to form a new national unity government. The surprise move will give Mr Netanyahu what's thought to be the biggest ever government majority in the Knesset. A little earlier I spoke to our correspondent John Donison in Jerusalem. Well, it was certainly a surprise. Israeli politics is usually pretty prone to leaks, but I don't think anyone saw this coming. And as you say, only two days ago, Prime Minister Netanyahu was announcing plans for elections in September. Well, that has now been swept aside because of this deal. Now, I think really Prime Minister Netanyahu has been able to do this from a position of strength. Uh, polls suggested that if those elections had have taken place in September, uh, the Kadima party, the main opposition party, would have taken a bit of a trouncing. I think Kadima has probably decided, well, better off to do a deal now, to enter the coalition, uh, to give them a bit more time to kind of try and build their support before elections, which we would now expect to take place, as previously expected, uh, towards the end of 2013. And, and is it going to be easy to hold that coalition together? I mean, there are differences, for example, on the question of Iran between those two party leaders. There are differences, and I think it's fair to say that Shaul Mafaz, who's the leader of Kadima, is probably a little more dovish on uh, the issue of Iran. He's been a bit more sceptical about uh, the speculation of, of a possible Israeli strike on Iran's nuclear facilities. Also, uh, with regards to uh, peace talks with the Palestinians, you could say he's a little more uh, dovish. But I don't think we're going to see any dramatic shift in policy uh, from Prime Minister Netanyahu, frankly, because I think he sees himself as uh, as the head of this coalition in a pretty strong position. John Donaldson there.